Abby Craft can't get enough of social media. Here we go, Facebook. <laughs> from Facebook to Twitter, Three from Tumblr back. to Pinterest, she's got it all. All of which are found on her iPhone. There's an app for that. And where she goes, her phone goes. Whether she's doing dishes, on her computer. Let's see what I have up. Facebook. Or watching a movie. Her phone never leaves her side. This is actually a pretty accurate description of my life. Maybe I should reevaluate. She's had her Twitter account for about two years and tweets more than the average person. Oh my gosh, that's really frightening to admit. 36,400. And like so many her age, the question is, how did she become so involved in social media? I think that when I first got texting, I was like, this is really cool and I can stay connected with people all the time and it just kind of plummeted from there. And would she ever consider deleting her Facebook? I can see myself deleting it like for Lent maybe, <laughs> but I would always go back to it. She loves having a way to stay connected text message among other things on my new iPhone you can see if your text message has been delivered or not I think that's pretty nifty boyfriend stalking capabilities and although she takes her phone everywhere <laughs> kind of like a safety blanket my mom calls it an appendage to my hand <laughs> she realizes how important it is to stop and smell the roses it kind of makes people including myself miss out on life itself because we're so attached to our phones constantly. And although Abby might consider herself a social media addict, she has no plans of giving up her way of communication. Facebook me. So we've seen how the advances in social media can be entertaining, especially when it's only a touch or a text away. But it's easy to get distracted with this way of socializing, and for some, even addictive. For Carolina Magazine, I'm Chelsea Parler. We'll see you after the break.